Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, let's see here. Ah, a lot of uh, uh, current customers uh, in the webinar. Uh, always great to see you guys in here. Um, and um, uh, ask questions. Uh, this is uh, your chance to, uh, or the this is the proper format to ask questions about the platform if you have any, uh, and I can go through them in detail. Uh, and uh, and then at uh, uh, 11 a.m., uh, of course, we're going to go through the advanced order flow webinar. So that's what you get uh, at bookmap.com. Here we'll take a look in just a minute, but you get a 14-day free trial period of the platform. It comes with education. Uh, the educational course here and then access to the, the advanced uh, order flow webinar series. And there's other uh, educational resources as well. You can reach out to us at bookmap.com, support at bookmap.com. Uh, and um, let's take a look here. All right, so uh, let's go to the home page in the beginning here. And uh, we can just start scrolling down. Uh, there's some intro videos here in the about section and then uh, just overview of uh, what's going on here in bookmap uh, this link here for the webinars i'm going to update it uh, probably uh, in about another hour and a half or two and uh, then you can uh, uh, click here to register for next week's webinar series okay <clears throat> or you should get in an email as well uh, but uh, anyway that's how you can register um, if uh, if you want to as, as well um, just uh, benefits, etc. cetera, uh, continue to scroll down. There's book map for equities here. So uh, you can get uh, equities feed. We can uh, look at some equities if you want. Just let me know. Uh, connectivity, okay? You will need a data provider. Uh, we are a software platform, not a data provider. Okay, and this is how, these are the different ways that you can connect book map. Uh, pricing tab, okay? So you get a 14 day free trial. Uh, with uh, bookmap basic or advanced here. And uh, let's go through the differences. All right, so you also see quant over here. Now, um, the only differences between these are the different uh, features that are added on. Okay, for example, that, like uh, on advanced, you have the ability to trade right from the bookmap chart. This is a significant, significant advantage because you can uh, manage your orders within the uh, liquidity heat map that's displayed. Okay. Uh, and then there are these uh, proprietary indicators that we also put together that um, read the order flow. Okay, so they're they're not your uh, usual MACD or RSI or whatever it might be. Um, these are uh, uh, very specific uh, indicators. Okay, now if you need a data feed uh, and you don't you don't have a data provider, uh, click on this link here. And you can uh, access that to get uh, access to a trial period of a um, of a data feed. Okay, and um, <clears throat> if you want more insight on which all, all the differences between the two, you can click here for the uh, feature comparison. Okay, and quants, uh, you'll have other um, specific uh, features like uh, connecting to your own data feed or your own data. Um, and your own indicators, etc. So just uh, click here for, to learn more, and uh, we can also contact you. Uh, let's see. You can follow us here on uh, Twitter. Okay, uh, this is the uh, at bookmap underscore pro is the Twitter handle, and you get the most uh, uh, updated uh, information here. Uh, you can see that uh, it's uh, pretty active. We have some new uh, new updates here. Um, on uh, looking at some candlesticks and looking at uh, uh, some order flow here as well. Uh, and then uh, you can see that uh, we also now, uh, there's a press release here for uh, uh, Top Step Trader. I don't know if any of you uh, uh, are uh, Top Step in the Top Step Trader program, uh, but we also now offer Bookmap uh, in Top Step Trader. Okay, so all sorts of uh, news and information on the Twitter. Uh, page. You can also subscribe to our U our YouTube um, uh, page here, and uh, it, all the different videos that you'll see. Uh, for those of you who are new, there's a, a intro section here to go through, 
and uh, just watch a very short videos here to get you up and running here and understand what's uh, what's in Bookmap. Uh, and then features and comparisons. Okay, so this is uh, or components. I'm sorry to uh, understand really what uh, the, the user interface, what Bookmap uh, is showing you, how to use it, uh, and then these order flow video snippets. This is reading the market. Okay, reading uh, what what Bookmap is is really uncovering for you uh, through its data visualization, and then how to read that, comprehend it, digest it, understand it, and um, and then trade uh, based on that. Okay, how how to start to uh, uh, use this tool uh, to give you um, optimized trading uh, execution, uh, more insight, uh, etc. Okay, so let's take a look at Bookmap. Uh, just curious on the bigger picture here for the moment. Okay, and let's take a look at Bookmap. All right. Okay, we'll take a look at the uh, the Nasdaq. And uh, what's going on? All right, so, uh, all right, for a lot of you who are new here, uh, let's uh, just go through the basics, uh, and then uh, you can ask uh, questions. All right, so what we're looking at here, and this, this chart may look very foreign to you, okay? We also have an indicator sub-panel, as you can see here, but I'm going to close that up. All right, and we're just going to look at this this chart here. Okay, and we're we're really zoomed out here. So uh, here's a 9:30 open, uh, and then this is current price right here. Okay, so let's make this more familiar, and we'll make it into a candlestick chart. Okay, and I'm going to take all these other layers off here of data, and then we're going to get into it and and show you exactly what Bookmap uh, is displaying and how to uh, how to read it. This is a five-minute candlestick chart, okay? Uh, and um, now it's open, high, low, close of a five-minute period, and that's it, right? We all know that. Uh, we, we also have a volume subchart down here, as you can see. Uh, and um, this is usually the, uh, the view we're accustomed to, to, to accessing. Uh, there might be some other indicators, proprietary indicators, et cetera, but for the most part, we see chart or uh, we see price displayed as as bars and it is an aggregated or a consolidated view of that period so for example right here this big uh, green candle with a big wick here um well we uh um this was five minutes of data and we don't know what happened between this candle previously and this one the ne on the next candle we have no we have no clue right we don't know um for example, there might be little structural areas in here that were broken, uh, and um, uh, and then we see volume come in and then drive price up and uh, you know come up to the uh, overnight uh, or this at least the uh, uh, highs here, uh, and then we see that uh, there's some selling pressure in here, but we still have no clue uh, about uh, the type of volume that took place. Um, what, what the auction was telling us at this time, uh, how much volume really traded in specific areas in the microstructure. Uh, there's all sorts of data here that we just don't have access to. And that's a problem, okay? And that's where Bookmap can uh, solve this issue here, okay? Because we, uh, we can show you very specifically what's going on, all right? And that's going to allow you to make much more informed trading decisions. <laughs> So, for example, let's look at this uh, little swing here uh, and just uh, start to piece things uh, together. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in quickly. All right, well, this is what occurred, right? We see a lot of sideways action here at, after the open. Okay, this is uh, what I'm looking at here. What I just added onto the chart is historical best bid and offer. Okay, so we're looking at, we're only looking at two uh, different types of data here. Our five-minute candlestick chart and historical best bid and offer. Okay, historical best offer is the red line and historical best bid is the green line. Okay, and um, what uh, what kind of insight is this giving us? Well, uh, first off is giving us a, a pretty good insight that this is a range. We can see that uh, there's, a, you could draw in a trend line in this range and you can see that uh, uh, that range or that trend line would be broken in this area here. All right, uh, and uh, that's already giving us insight. Okay, we can also see that um, 
uh, we're, we're going to, uh, I, I'll um, uh, wager that uh, we're going to see uh, aggressive buying come into the market probably around this area here. Okay. Certainly up above here. Uh, and then probably a lot more up in these areas here. Okay. And that's going to be pulling price up. Okay. Now all of that is lost here in this candle. We have no clue uh, to any of that. Uh, any of that buying pressure. We don't know where it took place. We don't know about any microstructure. Uh, we don't know uh, the um, uh, how much uh, it exactly traded at that at that moment in in that position here, uh, and then what type of volume. Okay, none of that none of that information is here. Uh, not not one not one bit of it. Um, so uh, let's turn on the volume. Okay. So if I turn on the volume dots, now we have the insight to, on the historical best bid and offer in these little structural areas, uh, we have an understanding of what, uh, where the transactions took place. Okay. So uh, here's our, our move and our break above here. And we can see that uh, in, indeed there are some, uh, uh, some aggressive buyers here pulling price up. Okay. Don't see many here. Okay, I, I was thinking we'd probably see a bunch here. We see a little bit, but uh, really the aggressive buying uh, took place up above this little range right here. Okay, started here, uh, and then in the uh, they really followed through here to the upside. Okay, so um, uh, anyway, so now we know. Now we know where that cluster of trading activity took place, uh, and that's already giving us a lot of insight here. Uh, so for example, that if that buying initiated in this area here, we're looking for pullbacks into that area to see if they're still going to support price. Okay. And that's exactly what kind of occurred here. All right. We can, we can see it. All right. Uh, we see the pullbacks right here. Beautiful little pullbacks right here. Okay. One and two. We even see a little more aggressive, uh, a pullback and we see exhaustion in these little areas here. Okay, we see we don't see too much uh, trade activity at all. Okay, it's exhausting out. In fact, we see more buying at higher highs. Okay, that's very indicative of a trending market to the upside. Okay, we're looking at here though a, a reversal pattern, and that's what's going on up here. All right, we're going to see a shift in the order flow, and um, uh, we can get in. We get into that more in the uh, uh, advanced uh, analysis webinar. So we're just going to go through the basics right now. Uh, in fact. Um, uh, that said, uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to put into the chat here a link to the uh, advanced order flow analysis for the, for those of you who are new here. Uh, so if uh, you don't have to, usually you have to be in trial or a current customer. Um, so uh, uh, we just try to separate the two. So those that uh, uh, aren't uh, uh, already uh, in the in the trial or a current customer can ask questions about the basics here, and then we can really focus on the advanced analysis uh, in the next webinar, okay? Anyway, and we will go through that. Uh, we can see that uh, uh, basically a, a shift in the order flow, most likely kind of in this area here, I think, but uh, uh, yeah, that, th this would be the best area here, and then we see them hit the bid pretty hard, okay? Drive price right back down. Anyway, uh, now we understand where the volume is taking place very specifically. And this is what allows you to really uh, optimize your trading. Okay. Uh, you know, to start to understand uh, where the volume is trading exactly. Now this is even more information than you're going to get from a footprint chart because that footprint chart is also going to be uh, related and aggregated on a bar. Okay, it might be a bar rotation, it might be a time, it might be volume, whatever it might be, it's still going to be on a bar. Whereas we're giving you every single market event here. Okay, and uh, uh, let me let me demo that. So let's, we'll zoom into this area right here. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now uh, we're going to get into very specific uh, information here. Okay. So that big uh, cluster that we saw of buying. Okay, this is what uh, really occurred here. So now the details, and this is right here, a very, very clear objective view of the market. Historical best offer is the red line. Historical best bid is the green line. These big dots that you see here, these green dots, these are market buy orders. 
Okay, this is aggressor classification of volume. The aggressor hit the market buy button and they took liquidity off of the best offer. Okay, that's what occurred here. Now, I'm zoomed into um, a millisecond level, so we're looking at thousands of seconds, but uh, I'm gonna hover over this dot and I'm gonna use this data tip tool as well. And uh, note that this is for a volume of 83, this dot. Well, there's more transactions that actually took place here. So we're gonna continue to zoom in here and we're gonna break apart all of that trading activity. Okay, now this might've been one, one trade for a volume of 40. Okay, and I, we can we can actually uh, we we can uh, look that information up here uh, and and know exactly what traded. Yes, it was it was one trade here. One we have a trade counter in our volume uh, counter over here in the columns. One trade for a volume of forty. Okay, that is fact. All right, and um, no matter if we zoom into microsecond level uh, or if we zoom in, like we can we can do that. We can continue to zoom in here, right? And we can look at even nanosecond level. We're looking at billions of seconds. This was one trade for a volume of 38. All right, now note that uh, there's another trade here for volume of five. Okay, now note as I zoom back out and I compress the timeline, I'm compressing all of that trade activity into a bigger dot. And it's displayed here and it, it still gives me the overall, I have the date, the time, the liquidity that was on the ask at that moment, and the volume it traded, 172 contracts. All right, so we know exactly what occurred here. This all market events, are very, very objectively recorded and plotted onto the chart, All right? Here's a market sell that took, took liquidity off of the best, uh, uh, the best bid, okay? So that's the traded volume. Uh, that's what you're looking at. Now note, as I zoom back out, see how this turned into a pie display, okay? It's, we're still giving uh, all, of, all of the volume here, 251 contracts, but we see that the majority of it is aggressive buying but there's some selling in here as well. That's because things happen so quickly uh, that to give you a shape and understanding of what occurred here, we have to give it in a, a bigger dot and we have to split up that dot uh, in a pie display. All right, so anyway, that's uh, the volume and that's just the volume here, okay? And it leads to a lot of insight, okay? It allows you to start making better, much more informed trading decisions. Okay, so for example, this is a shift in the order flow right here. Okay, we, we see more selling starting to come in, but then all of a sudden we're seeing that countered on the other side with aggressive buying. Okay, we see another uh, a move to the to the downside here. Okay, now this is not, it did not really exhaust out. This would be more like exhaustion where there's nothing that traded at these little areas. Okay, note this is a great little pullback right here. Um, and uh, nothing traded there on the sell side. All right, so the market rotates up higher. So we start to see a shift in the order flow right here. All right, uh, and um, yeah, we'll note it in real time in the, uh, in the, in the uh, uh, live uh, analysis webinar. All right, uh, now the, um, that's the traded volume. If, uh, uh, let's zoom out to current market, okay? And uh, let's take the candlesticks off at this point. All right, so the uh, understanding the volume is, is really insightful, okay? But it's not everything, okay? We, we, there's still another really important piece here to the order flow, and it's usually not covered uh, in the, um, uh, with a, a lot of traders because um, uh, it's, it wasn't possible to, to really record this, this information, and that is the auction, right? The depth of market. And we usually access that with the dome, okay? And this is your dome and book map, okay? Current order book. And we can see liquidity here at these, at these price levels, okay? 75 contracts up here at 94, 66 here at 93. Okay, on the bid side, uh, looking at, uh, well, we see 117 way down here, all right? Um, anyway, that's uh, important information. We want to understand, like, where larger players are, where the liquidity is. Uh, and how is it behaving? How are they behaving in this auction? I mean, if you show up to an auction and you know that they're bidding at a specific level, uh, that's important information to know, right? It doesn't matter about transactions at that point, 
the story is uh, the interest of the of the buyer uh, bidding uh, and uh, how aggressive they might be and are, do they are they really serious? Uh, you know that's going to skew the the uh, the price in the auction, and we see it all the time here. Uh, and um, so that information. Uh, is important and it is lost here in the dome. Okay, and this is a good snapshot of the current market right now. But this this liquidity changes. I mean, we see that those 117 cotton. This is way far out from the market right now. It's several points away, uh, and we've already seen it go from 117 to 121. Okay, it's not much, right? It's only four contracts, but it changed. Uh, what if? And this is a larger player, our our large lot tracker. Uh, uh, as uh, this little white line shows that one player is holding the majority of liquidity at this level. All right. What if he pulls? Okay. Are you going to remember that uh, at 86 and a half, there was a larger player? Okay. That was like several points away uh, in price. And that's a problem because you're going to have to remember all that. And that's rather difficult where book map, what we do is record that data. Okay. Here it is. We give it in this, in this window here, which is the best bid and offer. And this is your last traded volume right here. And note, note how the heat map is changing here. Okay, that is the adding and pulling of liquidity. So here are some guys, some some players here around this 88 level are adding and pulling high liquidity. We can see them because when they pull and add that liquidity, it's recorded and is is plotted onto the chart historically. So this is the adding and pulling of liquidity. Okay, it got really bright and then they pulled, they added in again, they pulled. They add it in again, all right? So now we have an understanding of the historical best bid and offer, where the volume traded on the historical best bid and offer, and the historical um, limit order book or auction, right? So here's that player down here, and this is where they started to get interested. Uh, they added in high liquidity at this price level uh, back around 1045. All right, so, um, and that's it. That's what you're looking at here in Bookmap. Okay, now there's all sorts of other, it's, it's uh, uh, we have all sorts of other features as well. Uh, we have our cumulative volume delta indicator here. Uh, we have other, many different data types here uh, to look at. Uh, you know, we can look at a trades counter, a quotes counter, quotes delta, um, time and sales, your custom notes, et cetera. All right, and you can customize your your columns, uh, uh, you know, in all sorts of different ways. All right, other things that we have uh, up here, um, click on studies configuration, and you're going to note these are all the proprietary indicators uh, that we have: order book and balances, large lot tracker, our iceberg detector. Okay, the iceberg detector. And then we can turn on our indicators here. It's going to show me where iceberg orders are. Okay, and, we, and it's uh, plotted with the number on the chart here, as you can see. All right, so uh, there's another thing uh, as well. I mean, there's just all sorts of features here. Uh, we have uh, API uh, in Bookmap. You can write your own trading strategies. Okay, it's Java-based, so if you're a Java programmer, uh, you can uh, or hire one, uh, you can uh, have your own uh, automated trading strategies. We actually offer three here chase, escape, and execute, these um, uh, these algos here are reading order book and balances and then managing your trades uh, based on that, okay? So uh, really um, uh, uh, all sorts of different features. Uh, those um, those algos, uh, you, you, will, you will need the bookmap advanced version uh, to access those. Uh, because you need the one-click trading, so um, uh, just note note that. Uh, but um, uh, it uh, set up your conditions, looking for an order book and balance, uh, and then that will justify your position uh, to, you know, uh, either allow uh, your limit order to stay uh, in the market, or to pull it and move it to another area, uh, or to execute it immediately. All right. Okay. Um, anyway, those are the basics here, uh, and uh, let's let's wrap it up. I, I gave you guys the link here. Let me put it into the chat again. 
So uh, in about three minutes, we'll join uh, over in the um, uh, advanced uh, analysis webinar. Okay. All right, guys. Well, then uh, let's call it a day for now, and then we'll get into the advanced webinar uh, analysis here in just a few minutes. Okay. Thanks for coming.